Today, I'm gonna to try and break 70. And I'm gonna talk you through all of my shots and my strategies and on-course management techniques to play some great golf. I've been playing the game for nearly 30 years, played in some top amateur events recently, and shot 63 this year. Hopefully you can gain some tips and you can also hold me to account. Let's go break par together, come on. All right, first tee, blind tee shot up and over the crest of a hill, but it's a relatively generous fairway and quite a short hole. Wind's gonna be a factor and it's off the left here. So I'm gonna aim just right of that marker post because that's too far left because I just hit a draw predominantly. And driver in hand. Nice smooth one to get me underway. Cut a bit. I pulled it left. Hmm. Take a nice strike off the first. Just a little bit left of where I was aiming. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm actually delighted with that tee shot. Got past the wall considerably. And we've only got about 30 yards. Green should be soft because it's rained recently, so... Maybe if I land this about 20 feet short, just a 56 degree, I know this well enough from this distance. That's got a lot of spin. Go. Just came out a little more spinny than I thought, but the putt is pretty much straight up the hill, so can't complain. Now you will see that I'm using the tall response stripe, so I'm a very visual putter. Get the line line that up and then I don't have to worry about that now it's all about speed way too aggressive I've ended up behind the hole at least tidied up nicely but could have done without that for the nerves okay that was an interesting par on the first but we'll forget about that Concentrate on this one. Reasonably short and downhill par four, but it runs very, very narrow at about 240, so I'm just hitting a four iron. Draw it a little bit on the wind. Left side of the fairway is my friend here. Nothing for right whatsoever. And that's a shank. Well, I can't believe it. I haven't done that in so long. <laughs> oh dear, well it got through the trees at least, so we'll have a chance at something, I don't know what. Well that was not expected. However, got to just put it to the back of the mind, go again. Best thing to do here is to just lay it up and try and wedge it on and make par the hard way, because there is OB left, so let's go do that. I'm glad I hit a time because I pulled it. That's turned out perfectly. I nearly pulled five or six iron and I'm glad I didn't. Playing the hole rather weirdly, but goldfish mindset. I've got 62 yards, but it's downhill and I have to try and keep this on the top level. Jokes aside, I'm gonna go for a full flop because that'll go 55 yards and that'll be perfect. I've got the lie for it. I just can't trust the fact that the ball will run on. It's just a lottery if I chip it down there. So full flop, give myself a putt. Wind. What's oh, a nice bounce. Sit. It's not a nice bounce. Well, I mean, I've hit a good shot there but it's just rolled down to the bottom of the slope, so we're gonna have a slow putt for par, but it's a putt nonetheless. Now you'll notice that I employ the claw because putting wise, it's probably my weakness in my game. So taking the right hand as much out of it as I possibly can has really helped me. Great effort, get in. Wow, that was an incredible putt. Had no expectations of knocking that in, but I will take that all day long. I would have been okay with a five in the end. <laughs> That's a funny game. 
that was certainly a confidence boost for the ages there. And now we're on to the third, which in my opinion is one of the toughest on the course, if not the toughest. Wind's hard off the left. I just need to hit my drive at that marker post. Doesn't need to be smashed, just needs a smooth good one. And that is literally straight over the marker post. Swung at about 80%, that will be perfect. Well, golf doesn't really make sense, but I'm level par and we'll just continue from there. Oh dear. Well, my round's continuing to start in a weird fashion. I've made it all the way into the ditch, but I've got the flattest lie I could have possibly gotten out of it. It's a tiny bit awkward, as you might imagine. I've got 108 yards, and that is probably just a nice smooth 52 degree. I'm a bit concerned I need to get this up quite quickly, though. Well, the way things are going, this will probably go in the hole. Well, I'll take it. I don't think that upslope helped me and it was an awkward backswing, so. We got out. We're gonna have to get up and down again and why not at this stage? 68 yards to the flag then. Slightly downwind, so I want a 58 yard shot. Land it just left of this flag because everything feeds left to right. Just try and give myself a makeable putt at it and then just ram it home like I did on the last. Well, that got taken by the wind a little more than I expected, but I played quite a nice shot there, actually. That was actually a really nicely played shot, and I've just got unlucky again. So brush it off, go make a putt. Sounds easy, doesn't it? <laughs> right, before we hit this putt, we'll just admire that spectacular backdrop. Sometimes it is difficult to forget when things don't go your way, but you just have to move on. You can't do anything about the past. So why worry about it? Decent effort again, just always looked a bit left of the hole. I suppose the way things have gone so far, that's not entirely surprising. But I wouldn't have minded a four, especially after that tee shot, but we'll move on. Okay, knowing this course as well as I do, a bogey on three is not the end of the world, especially now because we have a drivable par four and it's the perfect distance for my driver. So I'm just going to the right of this tallest tree, let the wind drift it left, put it on the green. Ah, I've hit that really well, but it's way, way left of target. Should hopefully have got over but I'm concerned about it. Right idea, just wrong execution. Right, as you can see, the strange golf continues. I was definitely left. Was fairly confident I'd find it. It's not ideal though. It's quite thick rough growing into me and I've not got much green to work with. So if I can just stab this onto the green and give myself a putt for a three, I'd be happy with that. Just aiming slightly left of the flag to give myself more of a chance. That was so good. That was so, so good. <laughs> Scenes. 12 feet for birdie. Wasn't really expecting that, but I'm not complaining. Just visualize it, just dribbling into that front door. Oh, absolutely hammer it. Oh boy. Again, got to see it go past, but it's not ideal. Nice and confident here, please. Yes. A lot longer than I wanted. But I'll take a four. Maybe disappointed not to make three, but that's golf. These things happen on to five. Making hard work of this, but not to worry. Playing okay. Now we have a downhill par three, 185 yards it's playing. But it plays about 20 down, so if we take that as 165, but it's into the wind off the right. 
So it's probably still playing 180. I'm just going to chip a six iron. Hard right to left wind. And I've hit a fade into the draw wind. I've not seen that down, but that was not a good shot. Execution appalling. Idea? Well, we don't, we'll never know. <laughs> right, the one thing that comes out of bad shots sometimes is you have a real opportunity for greatness. I've got a fantastic lie, which means I can spin this a bit. I've just got to land it on the green. The only difficulty here is a few branches and it's downwind. 56 degrees, it's the most lofted club in my bag. Not even opening the face. Just spin the ball. That did not work. Didn't strike it very well and caught the branches. On top of that, drat. Going to have to dig this out, it's not going to have any spin. That's got to go. Mm, yeah, just got snagged up in the rough a tiny bit, unfortunately. Not playing this hole well, but I'm not going to let it affect me. Let's just drop this in and we can move on. Be confident. Oh, it had a chance. Thought I'd made it. But alas, that's a double bogey. Not a well played hole. It's hard. But we'll get it back. Do not worry. Here we go then. Another short par four. Still a long time to go here. Gotta stay confident, stay positive, make good swings. I've got three wood. This might get there with a good one. Just looking for a high draw. Start it just right at the marker post. Draw it onto that. Well, it's safe. It was just high and toey and never drew. Should be over the trees. Not me best, but it's in play. And sometimes you just got to cling on to the positives. Okay, I just need to refocus myself. Everybody goes through bad patches on the golf course, but got to remember, I'm only one good shot away. And it's coming now. I've got the perfect flop shot yardage with a gaping bunker short. So I need to catch this well and I should get over it. This is not an easy shot, but I believe in myself. Well, I've missed the bunker. That's gone so far right and way short. Well, right idea, just terrible execution, I'm afraid. Oh, yet again, I'm making things hard. But let's be honest, I thoroughly enjoy trying to make magic happen and that's what I'm going to need here. This is going to take some very, very Seve-like hands. That's as good as I could have done. It's just dribbled past the hole. But I've given myself a chance and that's all I can really ask for. Come on, need a putt to drop. Well, I'm definitely just trying to make things interesting. Got a good amount of information watching Paul's ball go by. So this is uphill and I think it's probably just going to be on the right edge. That's what it looked like as my ball passed it as well with the chip. So taking all the information you can and then hope I can knock the putt in. I mean, I played that hole abysmally, but I've made par. <laughs> I'd just like to play some solid golf now, please. I'll be honest, things haven't quite gone to plan or not even close, but we're clinging on and now we're going to turn it around. Not a long par for today, but it's quite a tight one. So I've just got five iron because I don't want to reach that fairway bunker on the left. So I'm just hitting a nice draw from the right hand side put it in play and go from there
gorgeous. Absolutely exactly how I drew it up. And that's one of the better strikes of the five iron of my life. Dispense with a jumper because I was boiling and hopefully with that a change of fortune. There's 130 to that flag but it's tight left. The wind's in too off for left. So instead of hitting a full wedge I'm going for a chippy nine because it won't get there. Or the wedge won't rather. I'm in 10 feet right of it and if I drift it a tiny bit right to left that's fine. And I pulled it. I need some sort of incredible right bounce, which I've actually got. I've got away with that massively. I'm short left of the green, but on the fringe, which I think is okay. This is quite a tough hole, actually. The green is mental. So if I can get that up and down for a four, which I'm backing myself to do, I'll be happy with that. And then go birdie the next several. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the style of content. If you are, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you're new, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Thank you. Uh, I've brought with me a whole host of golf clubs because I'm in the fringe and I've got a fair bit of grass to go over. The smart thing would be to put this. It's uphill and left to right. But I never said I was smart. I'm chipping it. I'm aiming probably three feet left. And I've got the 56 degrees simply because I can be a little bit more aggressive with this and get a bit of height so I don't have to baby it. I still managed to baby it. Not spectacular, but I should be able to clean that up even though there's a bit of left to right on it. So I'll give it my full attention. take a four not spectacular but pretty good your eyes do not deceive you I've got the chief out it's not what I would normally do on this hole but I just have a funny feeling the winds down and off the right there is a pond short right of this green but if I can get a good one away up the left it'll all feed back and I can possibly get to the green which is only well it's about 320 but it's downhill just aim just left of the flag. Believe in yourself, Johnny, you've got this. Draw. That's so good. I just need a straight bounce. It's got it. Just bounced left of the flag and bounced straight. Absolutely delicious tee shot. Now, for those of you at home, that could have been an absolute disaster, but it's worked. So, it's one of those things where you sort of be aggressive, commit to it, and then hit a good shot. Simple as that. Now, I did say one good shot could change everything, and I've just hit a 315-yard tee shot and have 30 feet up the hill for a two. Realistically, do I want to hold this? Of course, but I'd be happy to putting it. Needs to go. Well, I had the line. Didn't factor in the bit of dirt that I putted it straight into, so best clean that off. However, absolutely would never complain with one and a half feet for a three. which we duly made, and we're back, baby. That's nice to see. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded a two for the twos club making some money. However, definitely not sniffing at a three, and that is a turning point for me. Come on, let's just go on the up from there, shall we? Now we're moving. Let's just continue that great momentum. 162 yard par 3 but it is uphill but it's left to right wind and helping so I've got an 8 iron it's about a 160 club full so just going to go straight at it hold it against the wind stick it on the green and give myself a putt at birdie oh no don't drop your club 
Fortunately, that's so bad, I can probably take a drop. Shank counter number two. Don't think that's ever happened before in 18 holes, but yeah, we move. Unfortunately, that ball is long gone. The only benefit being that I get another chance to rectify my mistake. Same club, same idea. Improvement. I fatted it. Right, well we're in play. And I need to get up and down for double. Just need to pop this up the hill. Maybe hold it, but more realistically try and make five and walk off with a double. Not an ideal way to finish the front nine, but that's golf. Now, oh, another aggressive effort and we're not in. Try to be positive. Not good, but a three with my second ball is not too bad. That takes us to four over on the front nine, so a lot of work to do on the back. 